aside from the brush and the pencil, you can also draw with the Shapes tool. And the Shapes tool is on the toolbar that holds the tools. And it may look like this line, but at other times, if you hold on to it, it could look like a rectangle or it could look like an ellipse because those are the three options that you have. If you can't find this toolbar on your interface, just go over to Windows and go to Toolbars and make sure that the Tools toolbar has been selected. So here we go, find Toolbars and then Tools, and then you'll see it appear there. So take a look at the Tool Properties panel. It will always show us what the current tool is. If I want to change it, I can tap here for the Line tool. I can tap here for the Rectangle. And basically, you've got to make sure that you have some thickness to your pencil, whatever thickness you desire, and you can change that with this slider too. You could choose a color from your color palette. And then if I have a rectangle, all I need to do is just drag the box, and then I have a rectangle. If you want to make a perfect square, you can check off this box that says Draw Square, and then automatically anything that you draw with that rectangle tool will come out perfectly square. If you don't have this checked off, you can also press the Shift key, and the Shift key, when you drag across the screen with your rectangle tool, will also give you a perfect square. The Line tool lets you draw straight lines, and if you press the Shift key, your straight lines will be limited either to perfectly up and down vertical line or a horizontal line or a diagonal line. So if you want to draw, you know, quick horizontal lines, just press the shift key and draw across. Quick vertical lines, press the shift key and draw down. Quick 45 degree angle lines, just hold down the shift key and draw. Otherwise you can draw them at any angle that you want to. And once again, you can go to your color palette, just like any of the other tools, and pick out different colors to use with your line tool. And going back to the tool properties, you also, like the other tools, have the option of drawing behind. So watch as I pick this red stroke and I draw behind the green stroke. So that draw behind command can be used on a variety of tools. There's also an ellipse tool, and you can find that either under here by holding on there and dragging to ellipse, or you can go over to the tool properties where once again you have a choice between line, rectangle, and ellipse. So the ellipse works the same way. You just drag and you get an ellipse. In this case, I had the check mark under draw circle. So let me uncheck that and then I'll get a more freeform ellipse that I can draw in any stretch position that I want to. But if I want it perfectly circular, I check off that box. Or if that box is unchecked, then I can take this and press shift and shift will make sure that my ellipse is also a perfect circle. You can Again, choose any color that you want to. And you can also choose under the tool properties to draw behind. And you will see that this green circle goes behind those pink circles. You can also draw your shapes to be automatically filled in with whatever color you have selected for your paint bucket fill because recall these three can be different colors if you want to. It's the brush color, the pencil color, which is also the color used for the strokes of the shapes, and then there's the fill. If I want to change this stroke color, I'll just pick that. If I want to change the fill color, oh, let me pick blue. All right, so I'm going to go back to the tools property, and originally I'm just going to draw an ellipse with my new pink color. But if I want it to automatically fill, I choose this Auto Fill selection, and now I draw, and it will automatically fill with that paint bucket fill color that I chose. Again, if you want all of these colors to be the same, you can just press this button here, which links all those three colors the same. And then, if you go to Tool Properties and you want to fill your pink circle, it will automatically fill with pink because 
all of the colors in the color palette have now been moved to be the same. If you want to separate them again, just hit that button again, and then you have the freedom to make your strokes and your fills and your brushes all three different colors.